Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's session on quests. Today's session is uh, on one identity or identity and access management. My name is Felix Mwenda from Data Group IT. I'll be doing a brief introduction of Data Group IT, then we'll hand over to the quest team to uh, get through the, the, the entire webinar. So, Data Group IT or D18 short is uh, Africa's leading value-added distributor, and we have positioned ourselves in uh, cybersecurity domain, and we've partnered with the best of all the vendors around. So we have more than a thousand customers. We cover the entire uh, continent that is Africa, covering uh, the east, the west, and the south. Uh, we have more than 200 partners across Africa, that is. And they range uh, from uh, the various regions that we have. So for the East African team, uh, I'm the product manager for Quest. And uh, for any queries for, uh, during this session, there's a Q&A that you can write your questions, so you can actually add them on the chat box. Uh, I'm joined by uh, my colleague, Daniel, from DJIT as well, who's in charge of Quest from our end. And uh, the quest team that is Hamad and uh, from Zilla. So Ahmad will be talking about this point. Welcome, Ahmad. Ahmad, can you hear me? Yes, yeah, sorry, I was on mute. Hello, everyone. This is Ahmad Abdul Fattah, the sales manager of One Identity. Happy to have all of you today. Uh, please allow me to share my screen and let me know if you can see it. Just a second. Yeah, your, your screen is um is yet to show just to not start showing. As Hamad is uh, preparing his uh, presentation, uh, maybe I can mention the domain that Quest covers all the way from uh, one identity, which covers uh, multi-factor authentication, covers uh, a little bit of uh, privileged access management through, through uh, various domains as well. Other than that, Quest has many products as well, uh, from uh, Microsoft management platforms, but for this session, we'll just be dealing with uh, identity and access management. Ahmad, are you able to share your screen? Yeah, I, I, I tried several times, but each time 
um, when the sharing starts, I lose the connectivity with Zoom. I'm not sure why. Just a second, I'll try from a different device. Okay. Recording in progress. As we wait for Ahmad to sort out the Zoom issue, maybe I can go through a little bit of a product portfolio as ISOs, or oh, sorry, as a DJP and what is it? Just a moment, let me try and share. Visible now, you can. Okay, 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 okay. So, there we go. No, and no. yeah, and uh, are you able to hear me, right? Yes, we can hear you as well. Very good. Sorry for this uh, inconvenience. Um, I'll try to save some time in the presentation. So um, one identity is all about uh, giving the right people the right access to the right resources in all the ways they want and um, being able to prove it. And one identity is a business unit under Quest. Quest is a large IT solution provider, has been in the market for more than 20 years. And one identity is a specialized business unit that is doing security solutions, only security solutions, and mainly in identity and access management. We are not working in any other branch of information security. So um, <clears throat> security as we know it is all about identity. So starting with identity governance and administration, means that you are able to secure every identity in the organization. Normal identity, business user identity, privileged user identity, and even um, generic identity like service accounts and, and, um, and any orphaned account that no one uh, is having over uh, ownership over it, over this account. 
So identity governance and administrations means visibility on every identity, means automation of the identity lifecycle, ability to do provisioning and deprovisioning, de and um, of course the governance. And governance means the ability to do attestation and access review for every access in the organization. This is one of the major parts the major major portfolio, uh, the major uh, uh, pillar in our portfolio, and of course, uh, the main solution in this area is called Identity Manager. Identity Manager is um, a Gartner leader, and Kobinger Call uh, leader. Kobinger Call is um, is an analyst report having the same weight of Gartner in in Europe. So. Um, Identity Manager is um, a very strong solution in identity governance and administration, easy to integrate and um, easy to implement, implements in months comparing to other solutions that take years of implementation. The other main component in, in, um, in our portfolio is AD management and security. So AD management and security is a very important component, especially for um, Microsoft synthetic organizations, which means many organizations today. But um, if you have um, an organization with many Microsoft application and many applications that is integrated into AD and Azure, in that case, you need a solution like that. This solution is securing the Active Directory, securing the identity lifecycle within Microsoft applications and integrated um, application that is integrated with Microsoft environment. And it can do uh, many, um, many tasks that is not possible with native tools. Um, one, one example is managing multiple domains uh, on-prem and Azure from one screen. That is possible using the solution. It's called Active Rules, ARS. And Active Rules is a pioneer solution in that area. No other solution in the market can do all the features of ARS. You will see that there, there might be some solutions can do part of, of the features of ARS, but there is no single solution in the market can do all the features of ARS. And we will come to this in details in a few minutes. The third part, which is very important and everyone is aware uh, of, um, of this um, solution, is uh, PAM. PAM is uh, Privileged Access Management. And um, we all know traditionally what is Privileged Access Management. It means controlling the password in a password vault and monitoring the sessions and recording the sessions. But this was the old idea about PAM. Now we need a solution that is capable to do um, behavioral analytics using artificial intelligence. We need a solution that can prevent uh, harmful activities, a solution that can integrate with robotics, can integrate with automation solutions, uh, service disk management solutions, and many more. And our solution in this area is called Safeguard. Safeguard is um, a leader in Gartner as well, and um, one of the uh, strongest solutions in this area. Um, on top of these solutions, we have identity as a service. So we can offer PAM, identity governance, AD management and security, self-service password reset on uh, as a service. So um, all of that is available since one year. And on our first year, we has been named leader in Kubinger Call in, in providing SaaS services. So... Um, it's quite useful for customers transitioning from on-prem to cloud or for customers already on cloud to adopt uh, such um, uh, solutions. Um, beside uh, the main pillars of our portfolio, we have also um, on-prem to factor authentication and uh, authentication services, AD bridging, 
um, sudo management and um, policy management for Unix and Linux, and log management. We have log management appliances, we have log management software. So let's start with our major solution uh, in identity governance, which is called Identity Manager. Identity Manager is, uh, is having many modules inside and you get all modules with one license per managed identity. Basically, how many person managed uh, or how many person is related to this organization it could be how many employees it could be how it could be how many staff and students in universities it could be how many customer and 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 um and uh, employee in 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 insurance company so it depends on the customer uh, uh nature and um, of course, we have a different license for external users like students and customers, uh, which is not on the same uh, cost like the uh, employee. Um, so first of all, the main uh, function of the identity manager is access governance, which means to control the access. So first of all, you need to have visibility through dashboard of the current access you need interactive heat maps that will show the risky users the risky departments and of course a closed loop, uh, loop remediation which means that when someone is having excessive access um, uh, violating the policy uh, and there is no good reason for that you should have a tool to revoke this access and to um, uh, to do a fast remediation. So um, the access governance component in Identity Manager can address all of that. Can give you, can give you the tools to do the um, attestation, access review, uh, remediation for any uh, or any policy violation, and. Um, it has the uh, heat map dashboard that can show all the um, risky departments which is having the risky employees and through the heat map you can drill down to see every single employee with exceptional or uh, excessive access and you can drill down to see who granted this access and you can of course revoke that access Provisioning means that you are able to um, uh, automate the identity lifecycle. So whenever someone is hired in the organization, identity manager will detect this change and will trigger a workflow to create all the primary uh, or all the initial access for this employee and uh, every change in that uh, employee access will be applied automatically as well. So for example, you are hired on a specific business role, let's say help desk. And uh, in, let's say in Johannesburg um, branch. So after one month, you have moved to Cape Town and in a different role, let's say you have been promoted to help desk team leader. So um, this requires provisioning changes. So identity manager will detect the change in your business role that you have been promoted to a different role and will apply the changes that some access need to be removed, some, some access need to be added, some access need to be modified. And this is what we mean by provisioning. So provisioning is a continuous process that is happening on a daily basis. Um, data governance is an additional module that can be uh, bundled with Identity Manager. And this module uh, um, main function is to protect your unstructured data. So files and servers scattered in your organization can be protected using this module in, in that um, essence of uh, discovering the current permission and current access to these files and folders and to manage the request and approval workflow for any permission over these files and folders. 
The identity life cycle as we know it, starting with the joiner event, which means someone is joining your organization. And when this person joins the organization, an event will be created in the HR system. Identity manager will, will detect this event and will create the initial access that is matching this new hire rule. And of course, on a daily basis, there could be changes in this um, identity rule. And of course, some access could be a requestable access. So it will not be created by default, but it will be available to you to request from an IT portal. And this portal will show only the available item for your business rule, not every item in the organization. And of course, um, there will be periodic access review that is triggered by identity manager to ensure that <clears throat> to ensure that the organization is not having policy violation um, among departments and to ensure that the auditors is having visibility on the current exceptional access in the organization. And of course, when there is a change in the uh, provisioning or the change or uh, change on the business rule, um, the um, identity manager engine will trigger a workflow uh, to apply this reprovisioning process. And when the employee is leaving the organization, um, of course, the deep provisioning will happen. The deep provisioning means that every access is disabled or deleted as per the organization policy. So these are the main the main transactions within the identity life cycle: joiner, mover, lever. So every organization should automate this process, starting with joining event until the leaving event. Of course, in between, there is many, many functions like the user life cycles, provisioning, rules, self-service request, fulfillment workflows, delegation, approval workflows, and many more. So identity manager is acting like a centric, like a centric um, um, identity repository and workflow engine that is ensuring that every connected identity repository is synchronized, every change in the business role is applied, and to ensure that the organization is having access to audit reports, to dashboard, to, um, to logs, to every, um, to every detail about the identities in the organization. So how it looks when you deploy identity measure in a complex environment with many application and platform, this is how it looks. So the end user, the customer will see um, a, a hyper view. This hyper view will reflect every access the employee is having in their organization. So this is a screenshot from identity manager. And in this screenshot, you will be able to see all details about this employee. He's having an Active Directory account, a ticketing system account, an LDAP account, and so on. So even the uh, open requests and connected assets, every, every uh, single detail about the um, about this identity can be detected from one place from the hyper view. And of course, you can drill down to see the details of that access to Linux, to that business application, to that database, and so on. The power, um, the power of integration is one of the key success criteria for any identity governance solution. And identity manager is capable um, um, to do many integrations. Almost any system can be integrated 
as long as there is an access method to that identity repository. So it, does, it doesn't matter if this is um, a custom application developed in-house, cloud or on-prem legacy or modern application, as long as we can access that application identity repository uh, through a CSV file, through a web service, through a database connector or um, a native connector, then it will be integrated. And even for cloud applications, we have many ready connectors that is available out of the box and the customer can subscribe to um, these connectors to be able to um, integrate his cloud applications. Um, any questions so far? None yet, I haven't seen any on the Q&A. None on the Q&A, well, if anyone prefers to probably go on our question, then you can just unmute the questions mode. So yeah. please. Um, may I ask a question just to uh, uh, make this conversation a little bit interactive? Um, have you seen any, any other solution in the market that is covering these features? so far if you know can you name them in the in the chat or q a i can see the q a section so um, our organizers please um, let me know if we have uh, some Thanks response mm -hmm. yeah, no problem we will listen so none yet Ah, come on, guys. Uh, there is no wrong answers here. Uh, so just um, tell your thoughts if you think there is another uh, solutions in the market that can do um, this function. Or if you know, um, if you suspect this features, these features um, for any other um, vendor, just let, let us know. Any answers? An interactive session. So, anyone, everyone? Guys, someone has <laughs> must have seen any similar solution. We are not the only one doing this. Yeah, they are very common. Uh, just need someone to say hey, something. Like that. Because virtually everything uh, I have seen has mm -hmm. you know, and all of that I have seen somewhere in the market before. So. Okay. Any names? Any vendor names? Yeah, Okta. Okta is very common in market now. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okta is um, well known for the single sign on features as well. They have single sign on. Yeah. <laughs> two single sign yeah. Yeah. Two factor authentication. But uh, the only drawback with Okta is they don't have any AD management and security tools, they don't have any PAM tools. So we already have plugins to integrate with Okta if needed. So if you have a customer that is adopting Okta and needs PAM or uh, AD management and security, we can integrate seamlessly. But anyway, um, the big names in this area is SailPoint and Savient. Um, but um, as I said, we have an advantage over them. We are a leader, exactly like them, but we can offer PAM, we can offer AD management and security, AD bridging, uh, sudo management, many more products from the same vendor. So, so this is a big strength points. And uh, one more thing is um, identity manager is easier to implement. So usually these solutions takes 
more than one year to implement, while our solutions could be deployed and integrated into main systems, four main systems in two months only. And by the way, we are the uh, first um, identity and access management provider to be named leader in their SaaS services in their first year. So we launched our SaaS services um, a year ago, and we, we have been named leader in SaaS um, in our first year. So um, this is one of the... Uh, of our strength points, we are uh, we can offer cloud solutions. We you can deploy our solutions in Azure, in in AWS, in any cloud hosting environment. We can manage hybrid environments. We can manage um, cloud applications and systems, and on-prem as well. Our industry validations is so many. I really invite you to. Um, um, visit oneidentity.com and see our industry recognitions. It will be on the first page. Just log into, uh, go navigate to oneidentity.com and scroll down a little bit. You will see industry recognitions. So um, it's too many to uh, explain in one slide, actually. This is just a quick sample. Identity Manager itself is Common Criteria Certified and Leader in Gartner and Leader in Covinger Core. The main differentiators of Identity Manager, it's a single platform for governance. We don't sell each module alone. Um, it's one license and you enjoy all the features. Also, it's com easy configuration. You don't write complex codes. Um, it's a common criteria certified. The data model is very rich and it has a superior role management and RBAC model. Um, the I, uh, ABI services can fulfill any um, ABI integration required. And our Starlink Connect platform can help integrating any cloud application. And of course, the native connectors that is equipped with the solution for no extra cost is very uh, competitive when you compare it with any other vendor. So these are some of the statements about our um, uh, solution from uh, Kobinger Cole and uh, Gartner. As you can see, they are complementing our scalability and performance uh, policy and rule management, ABI services, um, and management. Good. Yes. Yes. Hello. Hello. Hello, can you hear me? Hello? Hello, are you there? Hello? Uh, because no one is uh, okay. I I have heard someone saying my name, but uh, okay. I hope you're still able to see my screen. So um, with Identity Manager, you get rabbit time to value. It has many uh, configuration out of the box that is saving the organization lots of time and effort. Um, 353 risk index calculation rules is already configured. Uh, 25 approval workflows, subscribe reports, and scheduled process, attestation policies, many things that is uh, pre-configured 
just to save you time and makes the implementation faster. Um, any question on identity measure before we move to PAM? Because we really need to move fast. We have only less than less than half an hour. So any question? Okay, so uh, PAM is a very well-known product in in all uh, uh, in all regions, and customers is aware what is PAM, and uh, they know uh, the famous uh, vendors for uh, PAM solutions. Our solution is called Safeguard. Safeguard is a leader in Gartner. And uh, the main purpose of Safeguard is to protect and, and secure the access to privileged accounts, so either, either by direct access to passwords or using the privileged accounts in a session. So this is the main purpose of uh, PAM solutions, to protect privileged accounts, either um, named accounts or generic accounts or service accounts, or even hard-coded passwords in applications. In order to do this, Safeguard need to secure the access either done by administrators, by help desk, by developers, vendors, or even applications. So if you have an application that is using a privileged password to do some tasks, this need to be protected as well. So Safeguard integrates with many um, parts of the organization. So any system or platform that needs to be protected has to be connected to uh, Safeguard for Privileged Passwords. And Safeguard for Privileged Passwords is protecting and managing the privileged accounts inside that system. So it could be an application, it could be a cloud application, it could be a network device, operating system, or a database. And privileged session is securing the session traffic to these systems. And privileged analytics is analyzing the user behavior in, in that session to ensure that this is the real user. This is not someone impersonating the administrator. So Safeguard basically is uh, appliance-based, and this appliance could be virtual or physical. And we have one appliance for password and one appliance for sessions and analytics. And the reason why, why it's two separate appliances, because they can work separately. So if a customer want to start with sessions only, they can do this. If they want to start with password only, they can do this. So Safeguard main component is Password Vault and Session Appliance. The Password Vault is securing every admin password for any critical system in the organization. And Safeguard is um, regularly uh, checking the password to ensure the password is randomized, the, pass the password is not exposed, the password is matching the Safeguard database. And when someone requesting the password, Safeguard is checking the entitlement and access policy to ensure that this user is authorized to access this password. And uh, once um, Safeguard is, um, is aware that this person is authorized, it will um, generate a random password, random one-time password, and share it with this user only if this user is eligible to request a password, not a session. If the user is uh, eligible for a session, then the session will be requested and it can be done in different ways. So it could be request and approval. It could be transparent. You just open your session client, uh, uh, your native session client. Safeguard is not having any clients. So you are using your own client it could be RDB client, Microsoft RDB client, it could be PuTTY for SSH, it could be a Telnet 
client or VNC client. So we don't provide clients. You can use your own client and Safeguard is acting like a legal man in the middle. So Safeguard will receive the traffic will evaluate the traffic, including your user and your entitlement, if you are eligible to do this session or not, and will evaluate the channel policy as well to ensure that you are allowed to use clipboards, for example, you are allowed to use audio channel and so on. And after ensuring that all uh, re uh, requirements is met, Safeguard will allow the traffic to pass in a seamless way, so you don't feel any change on your normal behavior. The behavioral analytics is analyzing how you type on keyboard and how you move your mouse, and what times you are accessing your systems, what activities you are doing, and the common uh, uh, periods you are spending in each system. And analyzing all of this, to build a baseline and to detect if someone else has used your computer in a privileged session, of course, because we don't monitor your workstation. Approval Anywhere is a cloud service. You download this application called Starlink for free on your mobile from, from App Store or Google Play. And in Safeguard, we configure your phone number so you will get a push notification on your mobile application uh, anywhere in the world. And um, you can approve or deny the privileged access requests from your mobile. And this is a unique feature that is not available with any other solution. So one of the key differentiators as well is transparent uh, proxy uh, mode, which means that we don't we don't need to create a request and wait for approval the user will open the session directly from his client and once uh, the traffic reaches the safeguard safeguard will evaluate and allow or deny the traffic to pass without any approval from any person and this can be applied for day-to-day -day administrators and for anyone that is allowed to connect without approval by the policy of the organization. Bring your own client session management is one of the concepts of Safeguard um, session appliance. It means that you don't need an, a client from one identity. You can use your own client and we do our job to monitor the session, record the session, control the session and secure the session. By default, Safeguard for Privilege Session can detect sensitive data like credit cards data and logs data and can terminate the session if you did any suspicious activity. For example, you are in a session and you, you opened remote desktop to jump to another session. Safeguard ten, can terminate the session in that case. And maybe you, you, you are trying to execute a delete command on the uh, core banking database. In that case, Safeguard can terminate your session. Of course, you can search the sessions using text. So you can search for a specific commands or application or content that was displayed or maybe displayed in the session. In such situation <clears throat> where administrators can open a session directly to the system with, with no wait for request and approval, you may add uh, 2FA in between the user and the target system to ensure that the session is secured. So two-factor authentication can be also bundled with the solution to ensure that the session is ultimately secured. If you have a SIM solution in place, we can integrate session appliance and password appliance to provide very clear matrix and statistics on the activities and behavior in your organization. By default, out of the box, we can integrate with ServiceNow and Remedy to provide a bi-directional communication between the ticketing system and the safeguard. So whenever um, a user is requesting access, 
through the safeguard interface and this access is related to a ticket the ticket number will be evaluated through this integration and vice versa so if you open the ticket and you want to affect um, a safeguard by creating a request based on that ticket from the ticketing system you can send the request sent uh, through the ticketing system the analytics is uh, collecting any suspicious behavior and building the baseline on a daily basis and it takes like 40 hours to build the initial profile for each user and once this basic profile is built every day the the baseline is adjusted <laughs> And basically, we analyze logs and we analyze um, user behavioral biometrics, like how you move your mouse. Uh, of course, everyone on Earth is moving the mouse in a different way, in a different speed, in a different directions. And uh, of course, we all type in a different way. Some people are using all their fingers. Some people are using just two fingers and the speed is different. The rhythm or the the way the pattern uh, of typing is different from user to another. So <clears throat> Safeguard can detect all of that using the artificial intelligence algorithms that is built in the solution. Session analytics is, um, is a machine learning technology that doesn't require any configuration from the um, user side. For integration, for integration with different systems, we can integrate with RBA, we can integrate with uh, DevOps environments, with Active Directory, and of course, with our own IGA tools. So this is uh, this integration capabilities is so advanced and uh, can provide any organization with their needs of um, identity security. Um, I will skip the design and architecture. Let's jump to um, unique differentiators of Safeguard. So Safeguard is a hardened turnkey appliance um, and it doesn't require any external database or system or license to work. The behavioral analytics is built, in, is built on artificial intelligence algorithms and it's not just the logs analysis, it has behavioral biometrics analysis. Interface is one of the easiest and stra most straightforward um, interfaces for PAM solutions. Approval anywhere is a unique feature to receive push notifications on your mobile device wherever you are. Full text search and of course blacklistings for commands and ease of deployment. We take, we take weeks instead of months comparing to other vendors. And in instance session termination, we can terminate any session, any traffic, and even all traffics in, in, in an organization. So for example, if you want to terminate a specific session or every SSH session or all session traffic in the organization in one second. And last but, but not least, the credential injection, which means Safeguard can inject one-time password in the traffic without exposing the password to the user. So, licensing model, we can sell privileged security bundle, which is including the password and sessions and analytics in one license. And it could be per system or per IDM user, or we can sell the privileged password module only, bare IDM user or bare system. We can sell also the session only, bare IDM user or bare system. The analytics is available only with the security bundle, which is having all uh, modules, password sessions and analytics. Because analytics to work needs the password piece and session piece. The password piece knows the user structure in the organization. The session piece knows the session activity. And these combined 
These combined can provide the analytics with the required information to build the baseline. Uh, Safeguard has been named leader in Gartner and Kobinger Call for this year. Um, BAG module means integration between Safeguard and Identity Manager to provide privileged account governance. Assembly means that you extend all the features of identity governance to PAM and vice versa. So, for example, instead of doing access review for, norm, for normal users only using Identity Manager and reviewing the access for PAM users from PAM, you can do this from one single location, which is Identity Governance Solution. Also, you can request PAM access alongside with normal access from Identity Manager interface. So it simplify the organization structure and provide you with a single pane of glass to manage every identity, privileged identity and normal identity. So these are some facts and figures about one identity. It has been in the business for like 19 years. We have hundreds of partners around the world and um, dozens of customers, like more than 10,000 customer. We manage like almost um, 240 million identity. And of course, our customers are satisfied um, with our support and our product to a large extent. So as I said, one identity is one business unit under Quest, and uh, we have other four uh, business units. That is quite interesting for any, um, for any of you to explore. Um, this was a very brief overview of our solutions. If you have any questions, please be my guest.